All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here, next on the power. So Tony Pearson, who is a bodybuilder from the 1970s, 80s, and 1990s, um, just released a posing video at the age of 61 years old. I think he looked pretty incredible in that posing video, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So as you can see from this video, Tony Pearson is a fantastic poser, and that's one of the things he was known for during his career was being one of the best posers in the history of bodybuilding. And he had a three-decade spanning career um, winning all kinds of incredible titles, including the Mr. America competition in 1978, the Mr. World competition in 1979, the WA BBA championships in 79 as well. He also won the NABA Mr. Universe in 1980. And then he would begin his career with the IFBB in 1981, although he wouldn't be as successful within the IFBB as he was outside of the IFBB, um, placing third in the IFBB universe and placing, you know, within the top six at most of the shows that he did, but he competed primarily in Grand Prix. Um, his Olympia placings were typically outside of the top 10, including a couple of 12th place finishes. And then probably one of his best placings would be a sixth place finish at the 1990 Arnold Classic. So one of the things that really made Tony Pearson stand out as one of the best posers of his era um, was back in 1979 at the Mr. LA Bodybuilding Championships, he became the first male bodybuilder in history to do a guest posing posing routine that featured both a man and a woman posing together on the stage. Um, so he posed with Lisa Lyon at the time, um, who was a fellow bodybuilder in the 1970s and 80s. And initially, there was a lot of hesitation about how this was going to go, um, but it ended with a standing ovation, and people were really um, enthused and enthralled with you know, the end result of this posing routine. So it turned out to be one of the most um, noteworthy posing routines in the history of bodybuilding. So he also earned himself the nickname of the Michael Jackson of bodybuilding because he would often pose to Michael Jackson's uh, music. And in fact, he actually resembled Michael Jackson a little bit. So he actually competed as recently as 2014 in the Masters Division um, in an organization called NABA. So he competed in the NABA U.S. Open where he won um, both divisions in 2014. And at that point, he would have been in his late 50s. So arguably, Tony Pearson is one of the best bodybuilders of all time and certainly one of the best bodybuilders to come out of the 70s and 80s holding you know, all three major titles of Mr. America, Mr. Universe, and Mr. World. Um, one of the only titles that eluded him was that Mr. Olympia title. Um, but the interesting thing about Tony is that he claims after 1990, he stopped taking all anabolic drugs. Um, he did admit to taking them um, during the peak of his competitive career, but he claimed from 1990 up until this point, he is completely natural. So as you can see, at the age of 61, he still has a very impressive physique, but really there's nothing that would suggest to me that he's not natural. So I think this is really the product of over 40 years of competing and training um, and the discipline that it takes with the diet and the training for 40 years to achieve a physique like this at the age of 61. I think it's certainly possible um, to look like that naturally at 61, um, especially when you got 40 years under your belt um, of discipline training. He's currently still alive, obviously, and he is a personal trainer. And he's also a member of the Muscle Beach Hall of Fame. Another interesting fact about Tony Pearson is that he briefly competed in Vince McMahon's WBF World Bodybuilding Federation. Um, that's probably why when he came back to the IFBB after that, he didn't place that well. Because most of the bodybuilders that did go over to the WBF didn't end up to have much of a career, if any career at all, back with the IFBB. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.